Dear God, don't let me get a bunch of good guys killed. That's how the man we honor today, a well-trained professional soldier, greeted the task before him as he assumed command of the 8th Army Ranger Company in 1950. With humility, with clear eyes about the horrors of war. By November of that year, the popular assessment of the conflict on the Korean Peninsula was highly optimistic. General MacArthur himself thought he could have American GIs home for Christmas. But for First Lieutenant Ralph Puckett and the 50 Rangers under his command, the path home turned out to be much less rosy. Ahead of them was a crucible of staggering odds. Along the front line, near the Chinese border. U.S. forces in Ralph Puckett's sector were outnumbered three to two. But on the hill 205, where his small company would take a stand more than a mile from the nearest reinforcements, they were outnumbered 10 to one. It's difficult to imagine a starker embodiment of the motto, Rangers lead the way. Perhaps on November 25th, 1950, Ralph Puckett repeated the simple prayer he offered when he took command. Don't let me get a bunch of good guys killed. Perhaps he asked for the strength, the courage, and the resolve to discharge his duty and lead his men with honor. With the benefit of hindsight, all of us here today know that prayer was granted. Ralph Puckett wore our nation's highest military decoration, and in the hearts of generations of soldiers to come, the courage and self-sacrifice that earned that honor will be this great man's eternal legacy. The man who volunteered for command, who repeatedly risked his own life to defend his position, rally his men, and order them to safety without him. Who in the words of the prophet Isaiah said, here am I, send me. Today, the Senate joins Ralph's wife, Jeannie, their daughter, Martha, their son, Thomas, and the entire Puckett family in remembrance of an extraordinary American. It is an honor to welcome Colonel Ralph Puckett, Jr. to the Capitol. And we want to welcome all of our visitors for this important and, and solemn occasion. It is our great honor to be a part of it. As Speaker of the House, it is my privilege to show the House's profound gratitude for Colonel Puckett and all of our Korean War veterans. Colonel Puckett's motto was simple. He said it this way. This is his quote. Be there. When the going gets tough, when there's cold weather, rainy weather, somebody shooting at, uh, at you hot, you're going without food, whatever it is, be there. And on that cold day in November 1950, Colonel Puckett was there for his men and his country. And today, America gets to show our thanks to the last surviving Medal of Honor recipient from the Korean War. And we all get a chance to be there for the Colonel and his family, honoring his life and sacrifice in these hallowed halls of American democracy. Colonel Puckett was a, a U.S. Army Ranger and a veteran of the Korean War and the Vietnam Wars. For his contributions during his 22 years of service in the Army Rangers, he received two Silver Stars, two Bronze Stars, 
five Purple Hearts, and the two highest awards for military valor, the Distinguished Service Cross and the Congressional Medal of Honor. In just a couple months, my oldest son will head off to the Naval Academy, and while Colonel Puckett uh, went to that other school uh, we won't mention, uh, it's my hope that, that my son Jack and the next generation of service members and warfighters learn from Colonel Puckett's example and aspire to the same great virtues of valor and honor and courage. Many soldiers of the Korean War, of course, paid the ultimate sacrifice. 7,000 others remain unaccounted for. But a select few, like the Colonel, went above and beyond the call of duty. We're joined today by, by several like Colonel Puckett, eight other Medal of Honor recipients, and in their presence and in memory of Colonel Puckett, we ask ourselves, how did these men come to be so great? These heroes were forged by fire. They were built through great adversity. They were ordinary men. Most of them had done extraordinary things because they were driven by a profound sense of duty and self-sacrifice and faith that their cause was just, that our values and our country were worth defending, and that God would honor the inestimable value of their personal commitments. These soldiers of the Korean War did the right thing even at great cost to themselves. And theirs is an example we should all admire and aspire to. So today we join Jeannie and Martha and Thomas and the entire Puckett family to pay tribute to Colonel Puckett and all the great men who have gone before us. And we pray that the Lord remember our dead and those who showed the greatest form of love, those who laid down their life for their friends. Possible dream to fight the unbeatable foe, to bear with unbearable sorrow, to run where the brave dare not go, to right the unrightable wrong. To love pure and chaste from afar To try when your arms are too weary To reach the unreachable star This is my quest to follow that star Without question or pause To be willing to march into hell For a heavenly cause And I know if I'll only be true To this glorious quest That my heart will lie peaceful and calm when I'm laid to my rest And the world will be better for this That one man scorned and covered with scars Still strove with his last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable star.
If you would, please pray with me. Holy Lord, as we depart this sacred hall of national honor, having commemorated a life well lived and a duty so faithfully discharged, may we be inspired by Colonel Ralph Puckett Jr.'s extraordinary and courageous example of character-driven leadership, that we would take a firm hold of the baton you now pass from him to us. Would that we, with the same presence of mind, draw the enemy's fire from our compatriots. Would that we likewise step up and take charge in such a way that inspires unfailing desire and perseverance to resist the evils that threaten to overtake us. Would that we, like this humble American, fear no one, fear no situation, Fear no adversary, knowing that you have called us each to go forth to serve in our time with the same valor and selflessness. Now grant Colonel Ralph Puckett rest from his labors, and to him, your faithful servant, grant him the reward of your own well done. In your merciful name we pray. Amen.